In this video, I'm going to show you how I made this burlap ribbon bow for my wreath. If you guys saw my DIY wreath video, then you saw this bow and I did say that I would show you guys how I made it. Now this isn't a perfect bow by any means or anything that special, but I still wanted to show you guys how I made it. Here are the supplies that you'll need to make this kind of bow. Okay, so let's get started. You want to grab your burlap ribbon, roll it out, and then grab your ruler and put your finger at six inches, then fold your ribbon in half, right, right where your finger is at. Then you will grab your scissors and cut right where the other end meets. Then grab your ruler again and just make sure it's around 12 inches long. As you can see, mine's a little longer, but that's no big deal. Then you wanna grab your hot glue gun or your craft glue and put a thin strip of glue on the one end of the ribbon. Then you will fold that side directly to the middle of your ribbon where you should have a crease still from when you folded it. And now I'm just doing the same thing on the other side. I put a thin strip of hot glue and then I folded it to the middle. Next, you will grab your floral wire and you will just take a strip and get your pliers and cut that piece off. You will want to put that to the side for a second and now we're going to start making the bow. So you will grab your piece of burlap ribbon that you already started and you want to grab the middle of it and pinch with your fingers. As you can see, I use my thumb and my index finger. Now I'm bringing both sides and meeting that middle crease. So you just wanna pull both sides to the middle and I will show you guys again. Okay, so you will pinch the middle and then you will grab both sides and bring that to the middle as well. And then grab it really good and have a good grip on that. You will grab your floral wire that you had put aside with still holding that bow in place. You will wrap the floral wire around the middle of the bow, holding that shape. And then you will just slowly wrap that around. It doesn't matter how long the floral wire is, just wrap the whole thing around it. Next, we're gonna be cutting another piece of ribbon off about like four to six inches, and then just roughly cut that strip in the middle. It doesn't have to be perfect. You just want to get a little strip of the burlap ribbon. Then taking whatever strip you wanna use, you will then want to grab your hot glue gun and put a thin strip of the glue on the one end of the ribbon, and then you're going to be folding that right on top, folding the other side right on top of the glue. And just watch your fingers, and then you just wanna hold that down till it dries. Put a dot of the glue on the one end of that strip, and then you will be placing that on the back of your bow. You will put another dot of glue right on that piece, and then you will wrap that strip all the way around. Then you will hold that piece down and let it dry a little. Then you will grab your scissors and cut off that excess. Then you could add more glue if needed. Then you wanna decide how long you want the ends of your bow to be and you just wanna cut that. Mine is about six inches long and then you want to fold that directly in half and fold it and make a crease. Grab your scissors and then cut that directly in half where your crease is and just take your time cutting because this kind of burlap ribbon is a little difficult to work with so just take your time cutting it. So now you have two strips for the bottom of your bow. You want to cut the bottom of each strip on an angle.
put them under your bow to make sure it's the length you would like it to be. And then you wanna grab your hot glue gun once again and just put glue on the one end of the strip. Then on an angle, put the other strip right on top of that glue. Put a good amount of glue on the back of the bow and then you will grab your two strips once they're dry and put them right on top of that glue. And here I'm just adding a little extra glue on the flaps there just so they're nice and secure. And here is my finished burlap bow. Like I said, it's nothing too special, but I really think this is an easy way to make a bow for your wreath or for any easy DIY decor for fall. I really hope you guys enjoyed and found this video helpful. I will see you guys in my next video. Love yous. Mm -hmm.